Hi, I'm Hema and in this video, I'm going to do question number 4 of exercise 11.2 in CRT class 9th mathematics. The question is, construct a triangle XYZ in which angle Y is equal to 30 degrees, angle Z is equal to 90 degrees and the sum of the three sides that is XY plus YZ plus ZX is equal to 11 centimeters. Let us draw a rough figure. So this is the triangle X, Y, Z where angle Y is equal to 30 degrees, angle Z is equal to 90 degrees and the sum of the three sides that is X, Y plus Y, Z plus Z, X is equal to 11 centimeters. So now let us start the construction. We will first draw a line segment equal to 11 centimeters that is the sum of all the three sides let this line segment be AB equal to 11 centimeters now we will first construct angle A equal to 30 degree angle which is equal to angle Y to construct 30 degree angle we will place our compass at A and with any convenient radius we will draw an arc which touches the line AB at a point and with the same uh, radius we'll place our compass here and cut this arc so this will give us 60 degree angle now to get 30 degree angle we'll bisect this angle so this gives us 30 degree angle let this ray be al so angle lab is equal to 30 degrees. Now we'll make angle B equal to 90 degrees that is equal to angle Z. With the help of compass we'll construct 90 degree angle at point B. So with any convenient radius we'll draw an arc with B as center. Place your compass at this point and with the same radius we'll cut this arc two times at two different points. Let these two points be P, Q. So to get 90 degree angle, we'll bisect the arc P, Q. With P as center, we'll draw an arc. And with the same radius, we'll place our compass at Q. We'll draw another arc, cutting the previously drawn arc. Draw a ray from B, passing through this point of intersection to get 90 degree angle. So let this ray b bm and angle b is equal to 90 degree now further we will bisect this angle a and angle b with the help of compass we will bisect this angle a first Now we will bisect angle B with the help of compass. The angle bisector of angle A and angle B meet at a point. And this point is the vertex X of the triangle XYZ. So this is the vertex X of the triangle XYZ. Now to get the two other vertices of the triangle XYZ, we'll draw perpendicular bisector of AX and perpendicular bisector of BX. So now let us draw perpendicular bisector of AX first. So open compass greater than half of AX and draw two arcs above and below the line AX. Now with the same radius and uh, with A as center, we'll draw two arcs cutting the previously drawn arcs. So the line joining these two points 
of intersection is the perpendicular bisector of the line AX and this perpendicular bisector in, uh, meets the line AB at this point and this point is vertex Y of the triangle XYZ. So this point is point Y or the vertex Y of the triangle XYZ. So we will now join XY. Now to get the third vertex of the triangle XYZ, we will draw a perpendicular bisector of BX. Now to draw a perpendicular bisector of BX, we will place our compass at B and with the radius greater than half of BX, uh, we will draw two arcs above and below BX. Now with the same radius, place the compass at X and draw two arcs intersecting these arcs above and below x b join these two points of intersection to get the perpendicular bisector of bx this perpendicular bisector of bx meets the line a b at this point so now this point is the third vertex of the triangle x y z so this is vertex z join zx to get the third side of the triangle x y z Therefore, x, y, z is the required triangle. Now, let us do the justification. Here, ax is the angle bisector of angle A. Therefore, this angle is equal to half of 30 degrees. That is equal to 15 degrees. Okay. So, we will write down angle x, A, B is equal to half of 30 degrees. That is equal to 15 degrees, right? This is the point Y on the perpendicular bisector of AX. Therefore, this point is at equal distance from A and X. Therefore, we can write AY is equal to XY. In triangle AXY, angle XAY is equal to angle a x y and this is equal to 15 degrees why because this side is equal to this side so the angles opposite to these two sides will be equal angle x a y is equal to angle a x y equal to 15 degrees that is this angle is also equal to 15 degrees okay now this angle that is angle x y z is the exterior angle and by the exterior angle property, we can say that angle x, y, z is equal to angle x, a, y plus angle a, x, y. Okay. And since angle x, a, y equal to angle a, x, y is equal to 15 degree, we can say that angle x, y, z is equal to 30 degrees that means angle y is equal to 30 degree now we have to prove that angle z is equal to 90 degrees so let this be the first step now second step now here again with same way we'll prove now this point z this is the point z on the perpendicular bisector of bx so this point z will be at equal distance from b and x therefore we can write down zx is equal to zb okay again this triangle triangle z x b is an isosceles triangle and and since bx is the angle bisector therefore this angle is equal to half of 90 degrees. This is equal to half of 90 degrees. That is equal to 45 degrees. Okay. And since this side is equal to this side, so angle opposite to these sides will also be equal. So since this is 45 degree, so this angle is also equal to 45 degree. Therefore, we can say that angle Z x b is equal to angle z b x is equal to half 
of 90 degrees which is equal to 45 degrees okay and in triangle ZXB by exterior angle property angle property we can say that angle X Z Y is equal to angle Z X B plus angle Z B X okay now since a Z X B is equal to Z B X is equal to 45 degree so we can write angle X Z Y is equal to 45 degrees plus 45 degrees and this is equal to 90 degree so angle x z y is equal to 90 degree now we'll prove the third condition that is the sum of the three sides of the triangle x y z is equal to 11 centimeters so by construction we have written we have done a b is equal to 11 centimeters right this is our third condition and a b can be written as from the figure you can see that a y plus y z plus z b okay and we have already proved that a y is equal to this is a y and a y is equal to x y and uh, zb is equal to zx so in place of zb we can write on zx and in place of ay we can write xy so ab is equal to xy plus yz plus zx and since ab is equal to 11 centimeters and ab is equal to xy plus yz plus zx so we can write xy plus yz plus zx is equal to 11 centimeters hence the triangle xyz is the required triangle i hope this construction is clear to you and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section below it will be my pleasure to help you out with your doubts thank you